Welcome to Cooking with Katie. I'm Katie Anderson, a fourth year clinical nutrition student, and I know how hard it is to cook wholesome foods on a student schedule. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make mini barbecue chicken pizzas. You can find this recipe and its nutritional information on page 33 of my student guide to healthy, affordable eating. Whether it's a quick lunch or a late night snack with friends, these mini pizzas are sure to please. The first thing I'm going to do is wash my hands. Hand washing is the best way to keep your food safe. And believe me, you do not want to be out of school with food poisoning. So I already have my oven preheated to 450 degrees. You might be thinking that pizza has a lot of ingredients we just don't keep on hand, like pizza dough. And you're right. Today, I'm going to be making these mini pizzas on whole wheat English muffins. This recipe will also work for a pizza crust but today, we're going to be a little creative. Now the recipe calls for six English muffins cut in half, which I have right here, and three quarters cups of barbecue sauce to use as the pizza sauce. Now, you might be tempted to just slather on a bunch of barbecue sauce, but remember, that's going to change the nutritional value. Make sure you follow the recipe, especially for things like condiments and sauces. This is going to help you eat healthier and reduce waste. I'll talk more about cooking methods and changing recipes in the future. Now it's time for toppings. I have one and a half cups cooked cut up chicken, three, four, three quarters cup of uh, shredded cheese, one chopped bell pepper, and even though the recipe doesn't call for it, a half cup of chopped onion. You can never go wrong with fresh fruits and veggies. Now, you might be thinking this looks like some celebrity chef uh, setup, and it took a bunch of people a lot of time to prepare all these ingredients, but it didn't. It actually took me a little bit of planning. See, every week I sit down for about an hour, maybe less, and plan out my meal plan for the week. I go grocery shopping based on just those ingredients that I need for the week. I try to incorporate as many fresh fruits and vegetables as possible. Eating a rainbow of colors is a good way to make sure that you're including a variety of nutrients. When I know I'm going to be using bell peppers or another ingredient in a couple of days, I make sure to cut up extra. The same goes for the chicken and the onions I have here. This method of cooking is called pre-cooking, and I'll teach you more about it in future episodes. All right, our pizzas are ready to hit the oven. <laughs> My face melted off just now. <laughs> I've also tried this recipe in a toaster oven. The pizzas come out just the same. Just make sure that your toaster oven can get the food to the correct temperature. Make sure you tune in for the next episode of Cooking with Katie, where we make a seven-day meal plan and prepare to go grocery shopping.